the spots a bit more intimate because my bed is in the frame, you know? But like, this seems like a nice uh, ranting zone. <laughs> so anyway, I'm barely good. I am 24 years old and I am developing a game engine in C++. Um, so I've been developing it for about this long. So let me go ahead and just show you what I got done so far. Ow. Okay, so what we have here is a main menu demo complete with functioning audio, sprites, and UI. So you see here there are multiple buttons here, uh, play online, play offline, settings, and exit. So if I go into the settings menu here, you'll see we're greeted with a number of graphical settings. So we have these toggle switches here that toggle between on and off for settings such as V-Sync, full screen, and also anti-aliasing. And now this is because Nomad, the game engine I'm developing, is built upon Raylib, which is an open source games programming library written in C. And as far as I know, that uh, library only has support for one type of anti-aliasing, but it does a lot of the heavy lifting for me so I can focus mostly on uh, tooling and frameworks, which is really nice. So moving on, you notice I also have drop down menus for the resolution and also the frame rate and the aspect ratio as well. And these settings take place when I click play offline. But first I'm going to show you the online bit. So this is an example of how you could like join a server complete with a functioning text input for the IP address and port number as well as a little section for your username and a chat. And we also have a little hosting section over here too, with uh, various game settings you can toggle, uh, like Friendly Fire, or the looting system, so you can have a free-for-all, you can share the loot, you can have it all for yourself, or you can each get unique drops. And also the character. And now we have concept art for two different characters, that is the Sniper and Akimbo class. So I'll go ahead and show you those. So we're going to go back, and when we click play offline, our graphic settings will take effect. And here you go. This is using a model view client uh, framework. And the character here is actually rendered completely independent of the arrows. But when I click the arrows, the character can change. How that works is that the graphical user interface and the entity system they both okay i'm sorry if i lost you let me just grab my whiteboard and explain it over here up top we have the engine i'm developing nomad and then down here below this beautiful black line here we have raylib now, I mentioned earlier that Nomad is built on top of Raylib, which is a games programming library which has been developed by one sole developer for over eight years now. So I went ahead and stole the architecture straight from the website, uh, which you can find linked below. Hopefully you can make it out from over there because I'm about to go through it starting from the bottom. We have RLGL. And that stands for Raylib Graphics Library, which is an API for OpenGL, which is an open source graphics library. That handles all of the graphics. But notice a layer up, you have specific modules for textures, text, shapes, and 3D models. Also off to the side here, you have the R Audio module. And this uses Min Audio, which is another open source library for all the sound. 
And hiding back here is the R core module. And this holds functions for file management, initialization, and just your good old core functionality, you know? But anyways, moving up into Nomad territory, note how R textures, R text, and R shapes are flowing into no ECS and no GUI. This is our entity component system and our graphical user interface. Now having them as separate modules is what allows the character to be rendered separate from the arrows in the previous demonstration. So the entity component system, which is responsible for the game world and the GUI manager, which is responsible for the game menus, interact with the no MVC framework through the model interface, which is simply responsible for updating and rendering. These models then plug into the view in the no MVC framework. So the M in MVC stands for model, and the V in MVC stands for view, which updates and renders all models while also holding a reference to the controller, or C in MVC. And the controller controls the view as well as the audio through the no sound effects module and all loaded assets such as textures, sounds, and fonts through the no mem module. But barely good, you may be asking. How does the character change when you click the arrow? If these models are rendered completely independent of each other, how does that work? Well, you see, no GUI comes coupled with its very own event system. So the view or the controller can inherit from the listener interface and be notified whenever a GUI element is focused. So when the arrow is clicked, it sends a notification to the view, which then can access the entity model and update the texture. It's that simple. <laughs> uh, but there is one teeny problem. Uh, that is that the code is kind of a mess. Like, if I were to compile this, you will see, yeah, a stupid amount of errors occur. Uh, warnings, not errors. Warnings. So I've just ignored all the warnings coming up to this point. Because I'm the only one working on this project, and I just was kind of rushing for results. So what I want to do with this YouTube series... Let me change my view here so you don't get Inception anymore. I'm going to rebuild it all. Um, this is for several reasons, but this will allow me to show you in depth, technically, how everything i just shown you works, how our game engine works, while also improving upon it a bit. And um, it will also allow me to publicize the engine a bit. Maybe make some of that good old YouTube money. Because I haven't been making any money at all while working on this. Uh, so that would be nice. But yeah, I hope you think this is cool. I hope you stay tuned. Uh, in the next episode, I will start the rewrite. And um, yes. Like and subscribe if you like the video. If you think it's spaghetti, leave a mean comment. Spaghetti.